Hello Dino Peeps, it's your friendly neighborhood Arc Breeder here. And today we want to talk about the different types of players that you will encounter in the game. Now I know there are probably a ton of different ways to classify players, but I want to focus on the six most common types that I have come across. The Builder. The Builder is known for their almost unreal skill to handle the arc building mechanics. They are often very creative to the point where they spend days and weeks to farm for the building they anticipate creating. They not only manage to build the best looking bases in PvE, but also the best protected bases in PvP. They know all the tricks the arc building mechanics has to offer. Things other people would call bugs, they are just another challenge or even a feature for them. Every time Wildcard fixes snap issues on building parts, it's a nightmare for them. Because it might break game techniques they love to use. They know how to build that the buildings are stable enough to not collapse and crash whole servers with it. If you want to have a build in your tribe, especially when you're not into building yourself, it's such a relief having someone around you that enjoys the building mechanics and understands how to build an efficient base. The Breeder. The Breeder is the person that stuffs your base with animals, keeps killing off in your eyes perfectly fine dinos and mumbles something about not good enough when asked why they do this. They know the stats of all of their dinos without even looking them up. They also keep an eye on the stats everyone else has, participating in a silent competition to be the first to reach the level cap. They get most excited about new creatures being introduced because it means they have just another creature to breed. The breeder hardly leaves the base, only if the rare case happens that they have to farm meat. Usually breeding keeps itself running because the meat from the unwanted babies feed the wanted babies. Breeders know the arc game mechanics by heart, know all about mutation stacking, ghost mutations, and level caps and they also recognize the most important colors by id and look you want to get a breeder in your tribe because they will be up all night or even set alarms to imprint the creatures used for endgame or in raids so you don't have to they provide you with a steady flow of new better creatures so you can master the endgame the tamer the tamer and the breeder often work together hand in hand the breeder tells the tamer what animals they need and the tamer goes out taming those creatures Sometimes Breed and Tamer are also the same person because the breeder needs to have something to do between mating cooldowns and imprint timers. Tamers either enjoy building the newest efficient traps to quick tame what they want or they enjoy taming creatures without and make a smart use of the environment to stay safe. The Tamer can get you every creature you want, as long as you provide the taming food because cooking cable is annoying. You want to have a Tamer in your tribe because Tamers will help you get the creatures to progress efficiently by using the right creatures for the right purpose. They make sure the breeder has high level breeding animals to prepare for bosses or raids. And they are always on the hunt for certain colors during events. The farmer takes care that your resource storage is never empty. They show up during the EVA events to make use of the higher rates sometimes. They recruit the whole tribe to help mass farming certain things. The farmer knows which animal to use for which resource to farm. And they know which map is the best to get certain resources. They work closely together with the builder. Sometimes they are even the same person. The farmer knows all the tricks, weight reductions, weight restrictions and stack sizes of things. They know the secret farm spots for certain resources and make sure your tree sap taps and oil pumps always get emptied. You want to have at least one farmer in your tribe because resources are how you progress in the game. Building better saddles, better armor opens the end game for you just as much as better dinos. The Explorer. The Explorer can be seen in the base only rarely. They're most of the time out exploring, running through caves, collecting artifacts and blueprints. Explorers have a deep understanding of cave layouts, the locations on the maps and how to either solo artifact caves or to lead groups to explore those caves together. When the explorer is seen in the base, it's mainly because they just respawned after a death and now are rushing back to their body and looting it. They love taking risks for big profit. Having an explorer in the tribe can be very helpful if you want guidance or simply someone who can collect items needed for the bosses en masse. Make sure your explorer is well equipped to survive the adventures they are going to take. Prepare good armor, strong melee weapons and enough ammunition for their fabricated shotgun. The Leech. The Leech is a player who loves to profit off of others without contributing themselves. Leeches are super common in a game like Ark because you have to put time and work into progressing in the game. It also requires some knowledge about the game to understand how to work efficiently. 
The leech is unwilling to put either time or effort into it. They sometimes might just be new to the game and they don't know how to do things but feel ashamed to ask and often they're simply lazy and are so used to rely on others' friendliness to help. The leech is either younger and hasn't learned yet how to provide for themselves and how their own work might affect their standing. Or they're just so used to be able to use shortcuts by manipulating others that it is just a very natural thing for them to do this also in the game. Try to avoid this kind of player at all costs because they will drain your resources in no time and disappear as soon as they are empty. Don't fall for the heartbreaking stories why they are not able to do certain things. They know which buttons to press to make you jump to their rescue. How to counter a leech. Instead of giving them freebies, offer them to help them achieving their goal. Explain to them how to do a thing and offer to assist them doing it. You will quickly see if the person is thankful because they didn't know how to do it alone or if the person is annoyed to not get what they ask for and maybe they even come with some excuses why that does not work. So what do you think of these six types of players in ARK? Did you recognize someone or yourself in the list? And which is your favorite player type or your least favorite? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you know other kind of players that I did not mention, I'd love to hear about them. The ARK community is so full of diverse and interesting players. I'm always happy to learn more about it. And if you like this video, don't forget to boop the like button and hit that subscribe button. And I'll be back with more ARK content soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in game.